Hey everybody, we're going to uh, continue where we left off for the rest of the 5-1 practice, um, Pythagorean Theorem its converse. So it's asking us to state whether or not this triangle is the right triangle, so we're going to get right to it. <clears throat> so we have to identify the longest side before we assign A, B, and C. This is our longest side. And if you're not sure if it's the longest side or not, you can always use your calculator here to check this out. So I want to make sure we are on classic mode. So I go here. It's already on classic, which is good. And I can do simply square roots, so the second button, and this symbol here, uh, 143. And that's larger than 4, obviously. And this is going to be smaller than that because it's a smaller radical. So this is going to be our C. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and assign our variables here. We're going to go with C here. And A and B don't matter. We'll do A and B here. Okay. We'll write our formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So radical 129 <clears throat> plus squared plus 4 squared equals radical 143 squared. So let's figure this out. So radical 129 squared is going to be 129. 4 squared is going to be 16. And uh, 140, radical 143 squared is going to be radical 100, sorry, 143. Let's add these together. So oh, where are we? There we go. So 129 plus 16, that's 145. So it is not a, a right, what am, I, what am I doing here? 143. It is not a right triangle. We can actually say it's going to be an acute triangle because we remember that a squared plus b squared, when it's larger than c squared, that's acute. I'll write this up here, and then a squared plus b squared, when that's smaller than c squared, that's going to be a obtuse triangle. So it's not asking us this, but it's something that's good practice, so no, it's not a right triangle. It's actually acute. Okay, let's try 15. <clears throat> Again, this is the largest side, because radical one, sorry, radical 222, what do we get? 14.8. So this is our c, our a, and our b. <clears throat> So we're going to go a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 9 squared plus 11 squared equals radical 202 squared. So 9 squared is 81. 11 squared is 121. And this will be 22. Add these together, we're going to get 2. So it actually is a right triangle. Say so yes. Okay. Number 17. Uh, let's make sure this is larger than 16. I'm not convinced it is. So radical, oh, let's clear that up. Radical 138. Yep, so this is actually our C, our A and our B. And again, our A and our B are completely interchangeable. <clears throat> so we're going to write A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So radical 138 squared plus 11 squared equals 16 squared. Radical 138 is going to be 138. Well, radical 138 squared is 138. Uh, 11 squared is 121. And then 16 squared is that? 256. Okay. And 8 plus 1 is 9. 5, 259. So this is not a right triangle. It's actually going to be acute because this is larger. The a squared plus b squared is larger than the c squared. So nope, not a right triangle. Let's flip it over. So, okay, uh, radical 161, 12 point something. So this is our C, our A, and our B. <clears throat> A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And a radical 161 squared plus 8 squared equals 15 squared. So this will equal 161, this will equal 64, and this will equal 225. Uh, so this will be 5, 2, five. So this actually is a right triangle. So yes. All right, these last two. Find the area of each triangle, round to the immediate values nearest tenth. Use right values to calculate the next value. Round. OK, so that's a very detailed just instruction. That's weird. All right, so <clears throat> area is one half base times height of the triangle. So we're going to call this our base. Oh, this is an interesting one. 
Oh, this is it. Oh, I forgot about these. Okay. So we need to calculate the, the height. Uh, we're going to use Pythagorean theorem to do that. So, <clears throat> so here we go. We're going to put that right in the middle here. So we're going to create two right triangles here, and they're actually congruent. We need to find out what this is. This is an interesting problem. I forgot these were on here. All right, so uh, let's figure out this. This will be half of 8.4, so this will be 4.2. Right here, this is 8, so we're solving for this. So this is our C because our hypotenuse, right? <clears throat> so we're going to label our sides here. We're going to say A, and B, and C, and we're going to solve for A. So we're going to say A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Uh, let's see. A squared plus 4.2 squared equals 8 squared. So eight, A squared plus, let's make it easier on ourselves here, 4.2 squared, 17.64. And since to round in the nearest tenth, so we'll keep it as 17.6 or 6 tenths. And this is 64. So 64, so you can see on the screen, 64 minus 17.6. <clears throat> excuse me, 46.4, a squared equals 46.4, and we're going to find the square root of that, <clears throat> excuse me, 46.4, and round to the nearest tenth, so 6.8, okay, so this is 6.8, so it's going to be our height now, and now we can calculate the area of the triangle. So our B is going to be uh, 8.4. So A equals 1 half base times height. So A equals 1 half uh, 6.8 times height. That's, sorry, that should be our height. It should be over here. And 8.4. It should be over there. All right, so 6.8 times a half. It's the same as divided by 2. And then multiply by 8.4. So 28.56. So it's going to be 28.6 going to round it. So area is going to be 28.6. So we're going to do that one in class because I know people that are looking at this are going to be like, how the heck did I do that? So we're going to spend more time in class going over that. Let me do one more. Though. So we're asked to find the area, and I'll go slow this time. We're asked to find the area of this triangle, but we can't find the area until we calculate the height. And we're going to calculate the height using the Pythagorean theorem. We, can, we know this is a right triangle here, so we can find this missing side. This one's actually a little easier. That one's like the first one's a little harder, actually. So this is going to be our C, because it's the side opposite the right angle. So we'll call this our A, and this will be our B. So we're going to say A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Uh, A squared plus 10 squared equals 12 squared. A squared plus 100 equals 144. We're going to subtract 100 from both sides. So a squared equals 44. We're going to find a square root of both sides. <clears throat> a equals, and we're going to find uh, estimated value of that. So let's clear that. S square root of 44 is 6. Point that, so 6.6 .6 is rounded. So 6 and 6 tenths. So we have our height now. Our height's going to be 6.6. .6. So area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. Area equals. 1 half, and I won't script the order this time. B is 10, and the height is 6.6. .6. So 1 half of 10 is 5, 6.6. .6. Also, write out each step this time. I did a kind of not a great job of the early one. Sorry about that. 5 times 6.6, .6. 33. So the area is roughly 33 square units, where the units are. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> let me know if you have any questions. We're going to spend some more time on these. Um, these ones, these are, a little, these are a little more complicated. All right, have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.